Okay, we're out here today to show the difference. This is the old cantle on the Lynn McKenzie saddle. And the first saddle is the newer cantle. So we're gonna talk about the difference in those cantles and how that affects uh, the size of the saddle seat for you when you're getting ready to purchase one of these. In the old saddle, the height of the cantle is four inches. And that's true for both of them. I didn't really change the height of it. So they're four inches. And if you can see where this is, comes around and ties into the seat jockey, this is the seat jockey. That seat jockey measures right to the corner there. That is 10 inches. So we have a seat jockey that's 10 inches long. When we come to this newer cantle, we're still four inches high, but when we get to the seat jockey, measurement see right here at the point of that cantle that's like nine inches so the, what what changes on the lynn mckenzie saddles with this new cantle is the length of the seat jockey now we don't think about that affecting seat size but it does okay so uh this has been my personal saddle and so when we do uh, seat measurements and you you have your stirrups adjusted correctly what what we do at clinics is when you kind of stand up in that saddle you want to be able to put the width of your hand underneath your crotch with your foot all the way into the stirrup so I have my foot in my stirrup. I'm not on my, I'm on my instep, so to speak. And when I stand up, see, I'm, I'm standing up and I should clear under that saddle the width of the hand. Now for saddle seat, when I come to this seat jockey measurement, I should be able to get two finger widths between my thigh and the swell. Now that means that I can move in the saddle, but I'm not gonna flop around in the saddle. If, if I can get my whole hand in there, then my saddle seat is way too big. If my thigh is shoved up to my swell, see just even here when I do this, you see my feet get behind me? And so when I push on my stirrups, I'm going to kind of push myself forward and I'm not going to really go up and down. The old way of teaching is to push back and put your weight back on your pockets, but that's a little outdated because they're paying barrel races and a tenth of a second at speed is four feet. <laughs> and so a lot of people wonder, where am I going to find that tenth? Well, sometimes the ability to do this versus this, you can find that tenth. You've got to be able to really come up with him out of the back of that turn and get up on your feet so that he can leave the barrel and you're not having to, him tote you out of there, so to speak. So this measurement is important. When I come to the saddle, This is, four, this is a 14 inch seat. This measurement is 10. So see, I can really get really three fingers, which is a little too much. Now, if you have children and they're growing you know, this is not too bad because you know that they're going to kind of fill that out and grow into it. If I had a, a heavier leg thigh on me or perhaps a longer uh, thigh bone, so if I were bigger or longer, really I could use this room as far as my saddle fit goes. So I know everybody's really hot on that 
newer cantle, but there's still some to be said for this old cantle as well. And so when we're saddle fitting, it's not just the size of my hiney, uh, because my hiney could fit into a 13 and a half, but what comes into play is how much room am I gonna be able to have in my seat jockey and be a, a viable rider who is not just being toted through the pattern, but a, a rider that can be up and helpful and uh, athletic. There you go, some athleticism in the saddle because that always helps. And so we hope that this has helped you when it comes to finding the size of the seat that fits you, your part. Because we've talked about the horse's part, but we also need to understand the rider's part too.